We want to determine the composite function values from the graphs of function f in blue and function g in red. From this definition here, we see there are two ways to express a composite function. I think it's going to be helpful to rewrite these composite functions using the notation given here on the right. So for f of g of 1 or f after g of 1, we can write this using this notation here. For g of f of 9 or g after f of 9, we can write using this notation here. For f of f of 0, we can write like this. And for g of g of 8, we can write like this. The important thing to remember when evaluating a composite function is to know which function to evaluate first. Using this notation here, I think it's easier to see we're always going to evaluate the inner function first. So for this composite function, we'll determine the value of g of 1 first. And another way to remember this would be to read this as f after g of 1. To determine the value of g of 1, we need to find the y-coordinate on g when x equals 1. So here's the graph of g, here's x equals 1, so we go straight to the function. When x is 1, notice the corresponding y value or function value is positive 8. Since g of 1 equals 8, we can write this as f of 8. And now we'll go to the graph of function f, determine the y coordinate when x equals 8. So here's the graph of f, here's x equals 8. When x is 8, notice the corresponding y value is positive 5. So f of 8 equals 5. So we can say f of g of 1 is equal to 5. Next we have g of f of 9. So we'll start by evaluating f of 9. So we'll go to the graph of function f, determine the y coordinate when x is 9. Here's the graph of f, here's x equals 9. Notice the corresponding y value or function value is positive 3. Since f of 9 equals positive 3, this simplifies to g of 3. And now we'll go to the graph of function g, determine the y value when x is 3. Here's x equals 3. Corresponding y value is positive 6, which is our function value. So this equals 6. So g of f of 9 is equal to 6. Let's take a look at our last two examples. Here we have f of f of 0. And we'll start by determining the value of f of 0. So we'll find the y coordinate when x equals 0 for function f. Notice when x equals 0, we'd be right here on the y-intercept. The corresponding y value is positive 1. Since f of 0 equals positive 1, this simplifies to f of 1. So using the same graph, we'll find the y coordinate when x equals 1. So here's x equals 1. The corresponding y value is positive 2. So this equals positive 2, which means f of f of 0 is equal to positive 2. And for our last example, we have g of g of 8. Using the graph of function g, we'll determine the y-coordinate when x equals positive 8 to evaluate g of 8. So when x equals 8, notice the function value or corresponding y-value is positive 2. So this is equal to g of 2. And then using the graph of function g again, we'll find the y-coordinate when x equals 2. So when x is 2, the y-coordinate or corresponding function value is positive 7.
So this is equal to positive seven. Therefore, g of g of eight is equal to positive seven. That'll do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.